So now that we have uh, defined the relationships between the tables, we're going to be modifying some data and adding data. And adding data. So we're going to go into suppliers and we're going to change a couple of the supplier IDs. So what happens when you do this is that the related tables, because they're related on supplier ID, they will pick up the change. So we're going to change supplier ID from 15 to 33. So in the related tables, that change will happen. And then we're going to change 42 to 51. And again, in the related tables, it will pick up that change as well. Now, just in case you're wondering what the little plus signs mean, when you relate tables, any related table can be accessed through the primary key. So this was our one table and this was our many table. And for the ones that changed, those changes would be picked up in that related table. Now, after adjusting the supplier IDs, you have to add two records, and I have already done that. So number 16, you will need to add. Hopefully you will not do the typos that I did. <laughs> and you will also need to add number 28. Now, where do you add them? You just click at the bottom and you would type them across. Okay, now once you add those, um, it automatically sorts everything by the key field. So that's why they're not shown at the bottom now, they're shown up at the top. If I save this and close it, if I open it again, um, you'll notice that the one that used to be 15 that we changed to 33 is now in sequence. <clears throat> and so is the one that used to be 42, now it's 51, and that is also in sequence. So it automatically sequences by those key fields. Now the only other change we need to make here is to Hadley Company. So we're gonna click on that and you can delete it using your ribbon or you can right click and choose delete record. I'm gonna answer yes at your prompt. So again, the changes that we made, we modified two of the supplier IDs. We added two records one for supplier 16 and one for supplier 28. And then we deleted supplier number 38. Now they want us to print, so we can go into file and print and choose print preview. And they wanted it adjusted to landscape. Okay, and that's as far as you need to go. You don't actually have to print this thing out. So I'm gonna close. And I'm gonna go ahead and close out of suppliers. And then we're going to open up our product table. And there's actually four products that you need to enter. And so these are all entered at the bottom. And you wanna make sure you get all four entered because we're going to make a little adjustment to orders. And you have to have the product in before you can place an order. <laughs> so uh, the order table adjustment won't work if you have not entered all of the records in here. And these aren't too terribly difficult. Oh, let me capitalize that. And I'm just pressing tab between my records because I find that that's a little easier and faster way to enter them. Okay. So at this point, let me save, and then we're gonna go into file and print. They do want us to adjust the margins on this. So we're gonna go into landscape. And for margins, we're gonna to go to page setup. And the top and the bottom should be 0.5. And then we'll click okay. That gives you more room on a page. 
And I'm not actually going to print, so I'm going to close out of print preview. And I'm going to close out of the product table. And then that brings me to the order table. And I'm going to add an order. And for this to work, you had to add all four products to your product table. So the order ID is 1033. And then we've got the date. And the product ID has to be in the product table. Okay, so our relationships and the update, cascade updates are ensuring this. It's 185-10. So hopefully you added that correctly. And if you did, it'll add it with no problem. If this product does not exist or it was miskeyed, you are not going to be able to add this record. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save. And we do not need to print it, so I'm going to close.